you know, awareness or ability on the map. The Monster Energy pregame there for Toronto Ultra. Consistency being the key. 10 and 2 in hardpoint. Look for the 1 and the 4 in the series to be exceptionally strong for them. Top 5 in both breaking and holding in stage 2 so far. So this is giving me an absolute treat. Here we go. Map number 1. Two teams capable of near perfect gameplay, looking to set the tone early. Pred already going distant out towards that bridge. Dashy attacking from the heaven above. Kleenex inside the time. Well has plenty of protection. Scrapping insight. The MCW players already laying down the law. Last time these two teams matched up, it was uh, very different, but nonetheless a good series. Here we go. 30 seconds remaining on P1. We're going to look towards the top left-hand side of the mini-map in a moment. And until then, we're going to watch Shotzi dance his way around. All Optic in the kill feed. Very, very green so far. A little bit of back and forth, but right now, full control of the map. And you had a rare movement mistake there out of Shotzi, but it doesn't make any bit of difference. You still break through and get that time and force Ultra to have those deep distance spawns. So on that rotation towards P2, Optic right now nice and secure, but Insight able to pick up a couple. And that just means on the front lines, Toronto Ultra might have the opportunity to attack and jump all over these Optic players, but Pred and Shotzi roaming together, collecting the kills. Oh, <laughs> Shotzi, you know, a roundabout attack here. Oof, but it works out. Inside brought down, a little bit of damage dealt, new hard points up. It's all green for now. The members of Ultra have to make their way through the middle of the map. They've got spawns on the left-hand side, so it's an easy funnel right now for the boys of Optic Texas. That's good comms, too. Dashi knows that that player's weak. Go for the easy chow, check back alley, easy reads, but that dumpster gonna be open. Kleenex has found his way through, but the trades are there in from Optic. These are the spawns that you want to give these Ultra players. Now you can rotate and oh. collect this old time. Wall bangs, though, on point. So Ultra happy to get these final 30 seconds. Looks like Shotzi, though, wants to be annoying. He knows that these players on Ultra are going to have the back spawn, so he's being aggressive. Him and Pred want to get them out of this scrap. Final 12 seconds, Pred is hunting for it. And again, this is just to keep those Toronto players at bay. Keeping them at bay, keeping the scrap green. That's going to be nice. A couple of seconds going the way of Optic Texas Constellation prizes for the battle fought there at the cafe. Far side of the map now, we go to an even smaller position to hold. And so far, the boys of Optic are in. That's the green arrows on the mini-map. The purple, though, has quickly made their way forward. And that's going to be another break. Envoy, the route man in that moment, goes on the D flank, picks up Bruce, and then jumps over top. And, well, almost single-handedly does it himself. He's got Scrap into the mix and well now you got Kleenex on the wing. Good damage done but now the pinch on the time. Scrap two directions to look and well the question is can he guess right? Well he heard Dashi coming. Doesn't make the oh. fight easier. The hold from Optic is in. Oh not only the hold but cutting off the reinforcements. The lifeline the Ultra had towards this point snuffed out. Defeated. Kenny finds another. Middle of the map is only position now where Ultra are coming from and they are taking tags left right and center. No one's getting to that hard point without taking a bullet. Yeah, and Toronto uncomfortable even off spawn. You got a guy like Fred shooting in the back, and this isn't really fight for the scrap time from Envoy. He wants to control the power positions as we go towards new. He'll take the extra few seconds, but you're looking for the top third control, and, well, Kleenex just wants to get these players away from time. Clean reads and nice little wall bang technical to kill on Shotzi. Ultra right now soaking the hill. They're playing both sides. Watch for the pinch. Kleenex a lot of work to do from the side of the map. Oh, perfect timing from Shotzi there. The drop shot, the hop shot now from Scrap. Can he take care of that player behind him? Hip fire is going to work out. A little bit of a bullet hero there, but Optic have cleaned the streets of Toronto Ultra players. And all that effort to try to get those power positions doesn't make a difference. Optic now back and soaking up that time. Shotzi with Dash Heat watching just over him. Insight trying to be a nuisance, but easy gunfight there for Dash Heat. And this has been fantastic time on a P4 Hill. Optic have been collecting it all and they're gonna get the final 20 seconds as well that is a gorgeous amount of scrap time and plenty of time for a guy like Shotzi to go for the breakdown he's pinching right now with Pred all the optic players are doing now they don't want to jump on this hill they want ultra to look two directions and they're already forcing that spawn out here comes the fight Pred from up high his teammates below him no one else from ultra getting close bullying the boys in purple for the moment now over to the scrapyard, we now send it. Scrap the man in there. He's not going to be able to do too much without reinforcements. And here come Optic, a clinical approach. Kleenex on the flank, unable to get another. 
He does, too, for Tobias Julianson in the point. All three. What a break that was. I mean, look, you had Shotzi and Opti doing everything right, but they were just a little bit too slow, and Kleenex able to fly through and, well, jump on these kills. Shotzi gets baited. He ended up in between two, and what could have been a wonderful moment from Optic Ultra do the near impossible and turn that into a good junk kill. And honestly, with a hill like that, they are going to be right back in this game. So all's virtually going to be tied up as we go into the second set of rotations. Ultra are surviving in this map off of scraps. Now they've got a little bit of meat on the bone. Let's see how they can flourish now with an opportunity to push back towards the middle. We're over to P1 again. First go around. Nice even scoreline. Let's see how things fare. New hard point open for business. Yeah, there's scrap on a five as well. It took him a bit to get going, but here he is just a kill away from the cruise. He's got insight looking over him and even the help through the mid alley. Playing for the cruise missile, it can win you a rotation. You want the Slayer in this moment to get the kill, and he delivers time and time again. That's Cruz. And that's covering fire as well. He's keeping both these players back. Dashy, though, the final bullet in to get it. Insight on the flank, picks up at least one. Able to get Kenny out of the hill, yes. Now, 30 seconds remaining on P1. There's plenty of Optic players around. That's going to keep this hard point very, very open for now. Pred stays alive for a second longer. 20 seconds remain here. And Ultra fans going to be incredibly excited to see Insight as their main slayer. When he was popping off at Major 1, it made their games easy. Now on the rotation, it's only going to be Dashy in the back line. He gives you one, but the trades are in. The main AR on the flip side, putting in the heavy work but insight no support in this moment he's got to take things slow and let the kills come to him that optic no they're not going to push him too hard without the promise of a trade shots he says don't worry i'll get it done myself cleans house ultra with a slight lead hard point up envoy though he sneaks on through the dark prince finds two any more to be had here dashy up close and personal gets the wall bang insight on the trade and it's an open hard point and envoy can set you up as well just to make this time white now scrap could just play for the cutoff kills he doesn't have to overextend Great damage being done, and now we can work with Envoy to go and try to root Shotzi out. Well, he falls, and Green Wall, well, now they're the ones dealing with the bad spawns. This is a big moment for Ultra. Oh, my God, what a gunfire that was. Kenny walking away with a win. In so oh, no way. Had nothing to say there, but I'm sure these boys will. Let's go for a quick listen in with Toronto Ultra. We're blocking bridge right now. We're blocking bridge right now. I don't know. That's once. Yeah, I might cruise. You can if you want. They're cruising now. They're gonna go dirt to me. One minute, me. Dirt. One minute, one minute. Yeah, yeah, two dirt, two dirt. Running at time. Are you one minute? One minute, no. I'm coming. No, no, Archer, 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 Archer. Nice. One's deep, deep like that. He's going like AC, AC, maybe. Yeah, yeah, I'm trying to find AC. Yo, big forty, boys. Big forty. One's bad. One's bad. Low, low, cool me. Yeah, yeah. Then another one, low bikes. Yeah, low bikes. Two seconds. Two seconds. Bikes, I'm needed. One, one minute. One, top three, top three, one minute. Push it back, buddy. One more new, probably, or bridge. He could have spawned in bridge as well. Just check it. Nothing spawned bridge? Yeah. Two and ult, two and ult. Hey, I'm gonna get below you, Church. You got Church? I Church, I Church. Two and ult, three ult. I spawned, I spawned. Two and ult, two and ult. Well, Scrap was right. It would have been a big 40, but Optic took it right away. Now they're getting the kills on the rotation. Shotzi on the belly, able to pick up an extra three. He might get traded, but Optic, the bullies, they got the power positions and Ultra pinned in the back of their spawn. Pinned, but not in too much trouble yet. Scrap trying to help his boys out. Pred from upstairs gets himself another nearly a third. That was his fifth in a row. Beautiful work. Down to the hard point. We're going to go in a moment. Kleenex now waiting for the opportune moment to strike. Get Optic Texas off the time. Get yourself back into this hard point. Well, if you're dashy too, you want to make sure you get these players off. He's top third, but it's a lot of ultra players to oh, deal with. Yeah. Dashy can pick up one, but Pred not able to help him out. But look at how annoying these Optic players are. Trying to create that space on the white time and win that rotation as well. Scrap gets taken down after he picks up one. And you see the setup right now from Optic. They're going to be able to watch the flanks. They're going to be able to watch the front and hold down the box spawns as well. This is the hill where they can win the game. Over to the scrapyard once again. And Kenny's made himself very comfortable in this top red room. Shots in the other side of the map. Prowling, trying to slow down the approach. Insight's got a nice angle here. 
Not enough to get the read, though. Beautiful work again out of Optic, holding this one down. Over 200 points we've now crossed. And 40 seconds left on the hill as well. This is massive time. The difference maker. If Ultra don't get this break, surely Optic are going to be able to just pick up the scraps on P1. So you need the breaks in these moments. But the front line from Optic, they're looking pretty strong. So holding it together, still holding the time. And there's about 30 seconds remaining on this point. You absolutely have to get the hammers out and start hitting those nails. Ultra, fly forward. Shotzi with the corner. Shotzi now. One. Any more to be had here? Oh, no. Great work out of Ultra to hold it. But Preds on the pinch gets two. Inside. From the top row. Brings them down. Hard point still optic. I mean, Ultra stripped away. Maybe 10 or 15 seconds. They bought themselves a lifeline. But now on rotation, Shotzi just existing in your spawn. Damn. There is no room to breathe if you are Ultra. Envoy, too many directions to look. The magician of Karachi is putting you in the dirt. He glides across the map. Hardcore parkour for Pred. Look at the second scrap. Gets him out of the time. A moment of reprieve now for Toronto Ultra. Can they identify the attack from Optic Texas and get themselves back into this? This hard point is not done yet. If you're Optic, you just want to break him down on this P1, but the right lane is getting covered. Now you're going to have to do it from Bridge in top third. Kenny with the nice start. He's opened the lane now from Optic. Just get these players out of time. You need a few more kills, though, if you're Ultra. Optic now on the approach. Kenny and Pred find theirs. You're in the time. It's 10 for the win. Hold it now. Inside up top, getting back down. Shotzi going hunting. He's going to give you the the kill and he is going to give Optic the game. Optic sniff out any hope of a comeback there from Toronto Ultra on the P1 to P2. They end it. 250 to 217 as map one Karachi comes to a close. And Shati truly is a player that is just built different. He can glide across the map in ways that are seemingly impossible. He messes with your timings and he quite literally bounces around with those cutoff kills. But that is a well orchestrated team effort there from Optic. I mean, the damage output from everybody just about insane. I imagine Dashi was soaking up that hill time as well, but that was a very strong performance through and through and again for a Karachi they have barely played it at all this year it's only the fourth time that we've seen him on it but in this stage with those new hills in the mix optic have looked incredibly strong it's a map one they needed and they took it right away well map one in the books 11 minutes flat great looks there across the board from nearly everyone optic pulling their way and dashi not a hill kitten he prefers to go by king of the hill across the highlights now and a lot of it's going to be shots. I mean, again, Shotzi just uh, <laughs> working a little bit of magic, but just a, a really back and forth game virtually the entire time. The only sort of separating hill, I'd say, was going to be that junkyard from Optic the second time around, but it was truly back and forth. But I appreciate sort of the stabilization of Optic when they have the right side spawned at the end on that P1. It's guys like Kenny that just slow it down, play for the guaranteed kills, and really open up the map. It's just a well-orchestrated, very calm team, even in the present moment. So that has been one of the biggest strengths of Toronto, keeping things calm, even under pressure. Well, Optic have shown they can do the exact same. They have been the clutch kings. They do not fear these spicy hard point moments. It's the beginning of the series, and it's a good start for Optic. Can they maintain that composure throughout all of it? That's the question. Search and destroy a very different beast. Under the brightest of lights, with the loudest of fans, we know they've delivered in the past. Let's see if they can keep this MW3 hype train going, because so far, so good. Still looking at the highlights again, and the guaranteed kills from Kenny, that's something that a lot of players should be looking for. Slow presence, very, very methodical, and a key to the success there in map number one. 250, 217. Hard point done, S&D on its way. And I think for the S&D, you're going to be looking for a bounce back performance from Envoy, certainly player that struggled the most there in the hard point. But looking at the game flow, it is a nail biter game quite literally at the end. That rotation to Junkyard where they truly took that lead. And you see the pressure that Toronto is going to take in those moments. But Shotzi, again, credit where credit is due. I mean, he dropped a 1.0 KD, 25 and 25. But when he's playing top third and getting guys like Insight out of position with the crazy jump ups that he's able to pull off, off. It really is that separation factor for Optic Texas. And again, those final two hills, absolute class to seal the game. Yeah, it's those kills that the players on top third keep them safe. That gets your boys in the hill more time. Little moments like that. One or two kills gets you 10 to 15, even 20 seconds. Massive stuff.
Bye bye, Karachi. We'll see you at the very end of the series, maybe. For now, a double dose of invasion and a skid row chance. Oh, look at these nails. Look at him. How fun is that? Uh, that's gorgeous. I mean, you got like every single detail on every single nail as well. Pretty <laughs> on point. No shots. He's going to be happy for it. But I think this invasion is going to be an interesting one to watch because I know these players are at least the coaching staff going to be watching the series on the main stage. Hydra showing off new wall bank spots on invasion might be the type of thing these players have to be consistent about and evolve their strats in the middle of the tournament. Listen to you on his way. Quick look at the metrics here from stage two. And wow, what do you know? Eight and four there for Optic. A very solid record. Even Stevens, though, for Toronto Ultra. Five and five. Chance anything that really sticks out there? Well, look, it was a, a Neslo series from Optic when they played Toronto. They absolutely destroyed them in the search and destroy. So their record is fantastic. And that just means they're going to be going into map two with an incredible amount of confidence. So that is sort of what the qualifiers set up. Those expectations for the team. Now, don't get me wrong. I think we're expecting Toronto's s and to be a lot better on land compared to online. So I don't trust that five and five record for them, but it is going to be a fun square up battle to see how these players adjust. Again, for me, at least on the side of Ultra, Envoy is the player I'm going to pay extra bit of attention to. Struggled in map number one, but man is a world champion. You know he can bounce back and adjust. Bounce back potential on. Here we go. Invasion S&D. Who knows if it's as spicy as the New York Phase series we just watched. My good God, what a day of cold it's been. Far from over. Kleenex checks the room he's in, finds himself. No trophies just yet. Handful of tax and aids being expended by both teams. Ultra not yet making the move, but they're clearly grouped up and going toward B. Shotzi nice and aggressive. Envoy, well, half HP. Gets out with his life, and well, now the cross commences, but Scrap is by himself, so Kenny might be getting the call. He can move if he wants, and you see the kill box is being set up. Optic, massive advantage now in this round. Kill box set up. Didn't come from my here. It's made of very sturdy stuff. 40 odd seconds remaining here as Envoy and Kleenex now scrambling to try to find a bomb site that might be welcoming of that plant. Pred says absolutely not, pushes Kleenex back. There's a battle on the B Street about to take place as well. Optic Texas, a very strong advantage for now, but slowly full in. They close the round out. Ooh. Suffocating in that round as well. No open avenues of attack there for Toronto. Shotzi has him on the cross and easy execution after the fact. Dashi able to throw up two just in round number one. And this is no time wasted. In the online qualifying stage for SND, it was a 12 in one round count in favor of Optic. They have had their number and they don't waste any time in that first round. Round two ringing. Who will answer? Two in the first there for Dashi. We'll keep an eye on these sprees for the Optic boys. Ultra. Oh! It's Kenneth Williams from downtown. If you don't get enough kills in round one, you're not going to have trophies for round two in Optic. Well, the call was easy for Kenny. A 4v2 and make it scrap by himself. This is utter dominance. Get him out of here. In these first two rounds, Optic Texas can do no wrong. That is a very strong round. You keep that going. Does Optic wipe him out? That puts the trophy question still in play. I mean, they weren't alive for long enough. Uh, yeah, maybe not. Hopefully by this time around, they'll have one. If not, Ultra going to have to play slow off the rip again. But I think that's Kenny being like, what? They don't have trophies? Bet. Throw some nades over. We'll get those kills. And they might have just been expecting one. The two. Just the sprinkles on top. Now from Ultra, they got to dig deep because at some point, well, it really starts to sit in the back of your mind. Optic might just have their number. Yeah, if Ultra have no trophies, they're going to play a little slow. They can concede a lot of the map. Optic are going to be able to move nearly freely. If they can identify the attack angle, it's going to get ugly very, very quickly. But Shotzi stunned. No problem. First blood. Trades from Kleenex. He'll take the trade. Envoy just to bait. But now for the three versus three. That B site is open for the moment. But Dashi not letting the cross up until Kenny gets in position. So you effectively have these three Toronto players trapped. And no one from Optic over committing. No mistakes being made. Nice little stun check for the information. Dashi not even trusting it inside of Pop. Doesn't oh, no. see it, but still gets out with his life. Ultra, well, they're swinging the bomb towards A. Guess who's been ready and waiting? Pred, the extra kill. Man advantage towards Texas. Yeah, Pred's covering the push. Here comes Kleenex. 
Wow, Pred. Fantastic round from him. Oh, and there we go. Insight unable to finish Dashi in their opening fight. But Dashi finishes him three to nothing. Optic have seemingly not skipped a beat when it comes to search against Ultra. Optic are reading them like a book. Pred knows what Toronto is going to do before Toronto even has an idea about where they want to move on the map. A free two piece and Pred and Dashi, eight and no combined. Both players can be thinking about the cruise missile. And there is not a, a single mistake Optic has made. And it oh. is rolls, but those are beams out of scrap. Damn. Shutting down Dashi. A minute and 17 seconds now to work within the round. Optic, this is still plenty of time to man down. And if anything, this is an even better test of how great Optic Texas have looked so far in Search and Destroy. Down a man at the start of the round. Uh, you're exactly right. They are going to have to work for it, but Toronto still a good setup on the map. Two players double up towards mid. The ARs watching both of the long flanks. So nothing on the map is open just yet. Looking for the nade to connect. Wow. And that was so close. Scrap was probably one HP. That's a hell of a try, but the Scrap's still alive. Optic, well, got to pick a new direction. Scrap's still feeding a lot of info here. Oh, what do you know? Pred doesn't see a Kleenex in this position. 35 seconds, an Ultra. Oh, they find the advantage. Hello. That's number five as well. If you're Pred, you're just thinking about the cruise missile. Try to find an extra kill. And if you're Ultra, you cannot give it to him. You need to hunt him down. And Insight gives you exactly that. Ultra finally able to break the mold. You get the extra kill, and that is that MVP caliber bailout moment from Scrap. It is an incredibly short list of players I think should even be allowed to challenge Dashi at range. Well, Scrap is on the short list in a first blood like that. A nice momentum shift moment from Ultra, but still, they are down 3-1. They got a long way to go. It only takes one to get the ball rolling. Here we go. Attacking round for Toronto Ultra. There's trophies in those boys' back pockets this time round. Kleenex and Orvoy up the left flank. The right-hand side of the map, mostly scrap and inside. But for now, Shotzi has well and truly crossed the 50-yard line, and he might be behind them soon. I mean, this might just be the play. Shotzi already here, making the noise. There's the first blood, and like Houdini, he is gone. As the information on inside as well, top blue, but Shotzi and Kenny working together, and oh. well, there's the setup for the kill. Shotzi the bait, Kenny the hammer to Shotzi's nail, and well, a 3v2, and still a nice little hold on the map. Looks like Ultra might try to be dealing with Shotzi once again, but they just don't have a clue where he is. The guessing game begins. Scrap pumps the brakes, hoping for an, an opportune moment to catch him moving. Pred lying in wait. If that bomb gets planted, which it is about to be, this is going to be a problem. Kenny, get away. How fast is Pred? How fast is Envoy? Oh, he just picked the wrong way to go. Scrap, though, manages to pick up Shotzi. 2v1. Down to Scrap. Now against Pred and Dashi. The bomb planted, and Pred makes short work of Scrap. With the bomb defusing, the round count will be 4-1. to one. I mean, Pred just has such a way with simplifying the game. Everything is easy for him. The reads are always clean. You see the plant spot from Envoy. It's exactly for that chow from B Dom or the tank for Scrap. And well, Pred says, I know where you are. I know where you're coming from. This is just easy reads. <laughs> An immaculate condition of the vibes for the Optic Texas side of the stage. Morale in a very, very good place and with good reason. Seven and one for Pred. Seemingly unkillable here on Invasion. The bomb in hand now is Ultra. Scramble on the defense. Smoke hit. Envoy able to make some moves now. Slow and steady on the approach to the inside of shot. Yeah, Ultra digging deep, trying to make the adjustments, but you see how Kenny's playing with it. They know they got to be concerned about the DVD chow, and well, Envoy looking for the moment. He's going to get it. Thought Kenny was making the read. That is not the case. First blood for Toronto. In the meantime, they'll opt to get the bomb down, but scrap. It's the trade, clean Man. shots through the wall. And that is outstanding. Shots here from behind the tank. It's a very common spot. Oh, matters not too much. Down to Dashi. Oh, and I don't know if they have a clue where he is. This is a 1v3. Got to keep him off that bomb. Insight handled. Scrap, though, once again. Toe to toe. Two outstanding ARs. And this time, 
the defuse goes the way of Toronto. Yeah, Scrap on point with that X-ray vision. If that player gets away, it becomes a oh. much mixier round. But if you don't miss a bullet and cod, well, that obviously goes such a long way. I'm a bit surprised Optic don't make that aggressive read from Envoy, but it's a rarity for players to make those aggressive plays on the defensive end. But here's a look at these electric shots. Doesn't miss a bullet, tracking completely on point. He's doing that without auto-aim, so you folks at home, not a super easy thing to aim do. Assist, with, but yeah. aim assist, all right, whatever you call well, it. Snap is automatic, to it's be fair. <laughs> Great shots. Scrap's fifth kill of the game so far. Still four to two, it's first to six here in S&D. A long way to go for Ultra. Pred's picked a new spot as well. Pred mixing up his position every single defensive round. And, well, the door's getting kicked open. He gets out of dodge. He's getting hunted down, but Whoa. the moves are fast enough. Pred gets some damage out. Slows down the push there of Ultra. In the meantime, though, Shotzi's also been very aggressive on the map. Says anything Envoy can do, I can do better. Shotzi just patiently waiting. Less than a minute to play here for Ultra to get the bomb down. Scrap. Oh, dear. You're in trouble now, son. That's the first blood in and out. Now they can work Insight together again. Shotzi and Kenny, that duo on this side of the map. Insight might have a freebie if they don't read the position, but I think based on where Kenny's looking, they have an idea, and now you just go back to Shotzi as the round falls into his lap. Last man standing is Insight, and well, Kenny had him trapped the entire time. He is the clutch king in MW3, but in a situation like this, not a whole lot you can do. You need a little bit of magic. Uh, a map like this as well, those tank positions. Here you go, Optic Texas. Map point. Another absolutely blistering round from the boys in green. And I love that from Shotzi too. Sees how Envoy won in the last round and says, I like that strat, I'll give that a shot. And well, it delivers for the extra kills. Optic still playing near perfectly in search and destroy. Red right now, nine in two. He's been mixing it up and lighting up the kill feed. Across the board right now, Optic remain completely on point. Potentially the final round for Optic Texas. Toronto Ultra still a little slow to the trigger on invasion. Nades out. The stun's going to help just enough, but Shotzi certainly feeling himself as he now makes his way forward, and he is way pushed up. Hey, and this is a unique-looking minimap right now on the defensive end. Ultra nearly have everybody stacked up to be ready for the B pressure. In the meantime, though, Dashi has made his way all the way back to showers. He's taken a decent amount of space. So Optic are playing with options in the first blood. Kleenex is challenged. He is dying, and so is everybody on Ultra. Optic looking dominant on Invasion. This is a brutally impressive performance. They take the initiative. They do not relent. Bomb planted now. Envoy. Oh, no. Big Bruce has gunned him. Can he take insight as well? This is for the map. The pressure is there. Optic Texas. Another masterclass in search and destroy against Ultra. I mean, GG. That was not even remotely close. Ultra mixing up the strats there on the defensive end, but Optic, well, they broke them down every single time. That is clinical. That is efficient. That is fantastic word across the board. But Pred, nine non-traded out of nine kills. He was virtually unstoppable, as was Dashi, as was Shotzi. I mean, Optic and Search and Troy against Toronto. It is honestly unbelievable. Ultra go from not losing a single S&D at the major. Optic have literally picked them apart. 6-0, 6-1, and a 6-2 on the three maps that they've played. They've been paying attention. They've been putting the work in and, well, all for a, a good situation. 2-0 up in the series and a control away from a hot 3-0. And frankly, the control, man, it might be Optic's best game mode. It might be their best game mode. So. <laughs> this could be a 3-0. Ultra, one of the greatest teams we have seen in the league, now on life support here in the series. Invasion up tall.
for the boys of Ultra. We'll see if they can make it happen, but uh, in the meantime, an absolute slaughter in the search and destroy once again. Optic Texas looking at seemingly indomitable in the mode. We'll see how things go in the control after this very quick commercial break. Don't go too far, friends. This is going to be an absolute treat. Will it be a 3-0 or is it the beginning of the Toronto Ultra comeback? Don't go too far. This is the CDL. Upgrade your game with a scuff. Save $30 on the official CDL collection at scuff.co slash CDL. Get better with a scuff, the first performance gaming controller. Visit scuff.co slash CDL to change your game. The Call of Duty League is brought to you by Monster Energy, the official energy drink of the CDL. Moments away from invasion control. Welcome back, folks. Oh, we're looking for another Apex Predator, are we, Chance? Well, I think we may have found them so far. Toronto Ultra, where they go from prey to predator in this map. We'll find out in a moment. Sticking on invasion, playing control. There is absolutely no question that Pred can take down that beast just as he is taking down Toronto Ultra, who I gotta say, it does not look like they are playing their game at all, and that's because Optic is suffocating and not letting them in the slightest. Now we go over towards 
its control, and it is the attacking rounds where Optic have been completely on point. They have a positive KD, and this includes maps like Invasion, where they will absolutely run it down. So Ultra, they're on the back foot. There is no opportunity to breathe, because on Invasion, well, Optic, last time they played it, they hit them with the hot 3-0, just as they have set themselves up in this series to do. Serious looks on the players' faces, but I'm pretty confident we might be seeing that cackle of Kenny again. The joyous player getting ready for some control. Here we go. Map three. It has been a delightful day of Call of Duty so far. Game fives for the first two series of the day. This one, though, shaping up to be something very interesting indeed. The monocles are at the ready, folks. Let's wrap our tentacles around this game of control. Clean up those mustaches and clean up those nades. Ultra, they want to bang out this A zone straight away. Dashy, not a care in the world, gets the first blood and stops the push in its tracks. Fred, easy kill to clean up. What? And the four man wipe, setting the tone right from the jump. Ultra, welcome to the spawn. Oh, God, it's getting ugly real quick. It's getting loud. It's a ferocious offense so far from Optic Texas. Uh, well, they're on defense, and Ultra, that is their first kill. Finally an opening on the map, but when I say opening, ain't nowhere to go. Shots inside of Ice Cream, easy kills for him. Dashy on a five in Ultra. They are not shooting back. It's not a good look so far. It's blistering. Ruthless aggression continuing as Dashy eliminates the air from the lungs of Ultra. Not that he had too much to begin with, and now Kleenex trying to buy his boys an opener. Kenny takes on Scrap in the middle of the map. Less than 30 seconds to go in this round. Are we about to set another record today? I mean, this is an absolute dagger. No one has even come close to even touching a zone inside a nice win. And maybe the opening over towards B. Ultra desperate just to stop the clock. And well, Pred, he's on a four spree. He's thinking about a cruise. He's let two players pass. But if they touch this zone, might be free kills for him to shoot in the back. Or maybe great vision from Envoy. They have stopped the clock for three seconds left. Oh, dear. Whoa, there you go. Scrap saves the boys just in the nick of time. Kills are still there. Kenny finds himself one. Oh, shots. He got two. Oh, it's just not up to Kleenex now. 1.8 on the clock. Nobody leave the zone. You've left this to the last possible second. Trying to finish the capture and add a minute to it. But if they get brought down now, it's done. You can thank Kenny for that one, boys. And that should be that. Whoa, my God, they got it. The zone secured by the skin of their teeth. 1.2 seconds. Oh, so close. And the ghosty predecessor on Optic Texas. Well, Shotzi having flashbacks, but now you got to gear up and continue this round. Ultra, 12 lives to work with. And well, that falls an extra down to 11. Nice shot from Envoy. And that's three in the feed. Your moment to jump to the A zone. It's going to be Scrap leading the charge, getting tagged up on the cross, but he's made it to his new home. He's made it in. And you have turned one of the ugliest rounds of control into one that is actually winnable. Insight finds his Pred now trading out keeping the capture going at the very least you're looking at a, a segment can you keep the play going scrap fighting from the inside of the zone trying to not let the pinch happen kleenex is there for it this is not over yet scrap gets another it's another wipe off to get down again there is simply no way scrap inside the time he's got kleenex for the cap that's two ticks of progress already is success in this round optic desperate just to get him off the zone they're trying to swarm but scrap on a four in a little bit of time playing his life he has a little bit of support Oh, that's a big win out of Dashi. No lives left. Ultra now. Life support. A single segment remaining of Dashi. Trying to make something happen. Kleenex. Lives to fight for a brief moment. Wow, what a push forward. 15 on the clock. One last attempt. They are all grouped up together. 10 seconds. They're going to have to fly. Gun him down on the cross. And Dashi and Shotzi. Well, they're going to be able to deliver. Optic Texas. Well, they win the battle. But Toronto Ultra, they just set themselves up for the war. With the way this round started, the question in my head was, I'm surprised that, like, Ultra, believe it or not, your major one champions. They were looking to be made a full. Well, they answered the question of why they're champions. The resolve to get that out of that round. Squeezing water out of a rock. Two ticks on it. The B zone secured. Make no mistake, that is a successful attacking round. Ultra, they'll take it. We will absolutely take that. Optic Texas, even with the incredible prowess in the mode. 
you can't let the good teams have an opportunity. Let's see how they go now on an attacking round of their own. Over to B we fly. And uh, uncontested so far. And Brett's going to be your island player, just being a nuisance over towards A, drawing some attention as his team gets that capture over towards the B zone. Double stack coming through, Shotzi. Nice angle as well. He knows every little detail about the map, but where he gets traded, well, players off spawn, shutting down the flank. Dark being watched by Dashi, who, by the way, kill away from a cruise. Again, another cruise on the menu for Bruce. Will he eat this time? He, nope. Very close, though. <laughs> Fantastic shots with Scrap inside now, trying to push these players out. Shossies has made his way over towards the A zone, uncontested. I don't know where Ultra R chance. This could be an unbelievable turn. Oh, he's playing sneaky too. Well, there's a kill. Now jump on the zone, stopping the clock, but he has absolutely no support. He's got to do it himself. And well, a little bit too slow off the stun. Envoy wins a big one in Kleenex now. Just living in your spawn. That is a clean four man wipe. Everyone spawns up at Palace. And look at this stack right now from Toronto Ultra. Two players down the B Street. You got Insight for mid, and you got Envoy responsible for the bridge. Optic, plenty of time to break this one down. But they got to make it clean or else this is going to be painful. Oh, yeah. They've got middle of the maps wide open for now. Not able to get through the flanks, however. Perfect pinches right now as Dashi goes to the top side of the embassy, called out immediately. Kleenex continues to be a pain. Five spree, still alive. This is an interesting moment, man. When we saw Toronto Ultra play in their first series, oh. they had the opportunity to get beat by Vegas, but it was one mistake that got made, and then Ultra ran them over. Optic could have dominated this control. One mistake, and look at what is happening now. Kleenex has the crews. They have the spawn trap set up in Toronto Ultra, a deadly team on defense. 21 now to 10 on lives. The momentum shift on invasion control. Ultra, they're trying to make it happen. Oh, they're making it happen. Scrap, what a two-piece that was. 14 and 9. Still trying to fight their way through the mean streets over by B. And it's all Scrap. Massive tag. Shots. Oh, he might have caught a couple of friendly ones there. But for now, it's a slow and steady crawl towards the A side of the map. Uh, poor Kleenex moving at a snail's pace. Couple Optic players going to be flying at him. Shots to all top blue. Dash gets a kill in the middle of the map. And now you just need to oh. watch the cross. Optic creating a little bit of space. But Envoy, who's on a four spree and has been alive this entire time, still winning gunfights. He might get traded. But now Scrap just looking down the streak. Optic, 10 seconds. They're going to have to fly. Trying to make their way in. There's a lot of guns up right now. Kenny goes down. Shots E on the cross. Damaged. Enough to get the kill. Yes, inside there. Picks it up. Final few seconds of the round is complete and wow that was two very good rounds out of both teams this is sheer insanity no it is not two good rounds out of both teams miles hate to correct you but again optic they dropped the ball in that round one and look at the situation they are in now you are down two ticks with the way that first offense went and kleenex in that next round was able to get the cruise you and Toronto Ultra doing a much better job when they get that spawn track set up of being dominant on defense one small mistake has been incredibly costly, but still plenty of time to make up for it. Optic back on defense. Ultra this time, not playing any games. No way hits. It's the standard. The B hit. They go. Thank God one of us knows what's going on here. Fred is actually visible from this position. At Insight creeps to the right somewhat. Oh dear, he could have saved Envoy's life in that life, in that moment. But either way, first segment done. Toronto Ultra now trying to get the pace set over here by B. Kleenex is the middle of the map, relatively locked down. Dre's there from Pred. Second segment done. The opening at B, a success. Yeah, Scrap is comfortable. Doesn't even have to take a single gunfight, really, just to get this zone. You win the initial break, and, well, that B zone secured. Only three lives expended to make Woo. that happen. Optic trying to clear this B street, but Ultra players doing a good job of staying alive. Meanwhile, you're looking at the spawn. Dashy able to pick up a kill over by Palace, but if Ultra can root him out, might open up the A street just a bit. Envoy does exactly that, and Ultra, nice and stable. They can start working the map. Working the map, not an easy thing to do in Invasion. There's plenty of places to hide, set up little ambushes and problems for the 
attacking team. But so far, Scrap, 20 and 11. Relatively easy approach. And they're on the zone. I mean, they got one player here right now, but now make it two. This is going to be an extra tick now added to the tally. Envoy, yes, he's going to fall in. Actually, no, they didn't quite get the tick. Optic there, barely in time. Make no mistake, that is a big moment long term as Kenny doing his very best to stay alive. But as he gets traded, reinforcements are in. Ultra, it is a four hit through this B Street. They're trying to swarm. A couple of warning shots from Prey trying to keep these players back. Here comes the hit, though. Will they be on the inside? The pinch is on. Whoa, have a nice shot from Kenny. All down to scrap for now. Has to hold this position. Dashi has the bridge cover, so you're not getting out that side unless you manage to peel him off of those power positions. As long as Scrap is alive, he's at least keeping the pressure on. Uh -oh, uh -oh. But every single player that falls, well, it's going to put Ultra Whoa. so deep in their spawn. Dashi now on a three spree. That's a clean four down. And well, this is the official spawn trap blender. Bruce is in. He's on the inside of the walls for a moment there. You're chasing red dots if you are ultra. You get him out of this position, you're good to go. Still trying to fight forward, but Optic have encircled that embassy. You are not getting out without a bullet or two. Oh, well, if you have Kleenex with a cruise missile, Shati may be able to get one of his own. He's on a five, and well, Kenny's on a four. Two different players looking for the cruise missile. Both of these guys are a kill away. Kenny lives to fight another day. And you need this utility to try to make the comeback. These two players, they're going to be desperate for these extra kills. Insight was a big one. A little bit of help from his friends. Shotzi. Close. Oh, misses out. Kenny at range. Oh, he's still in trouble as well. No cruise missile yet. 18 seconds to go because they got on eight. And Kenny has no more bullets in the MCW as well. And now if you're on the cross, well, now you're going to have to make a run for it. Kenny's going to fall as well. That's no cruises in Ultra. They could just go for this round on offense. Shots, he manages to get one out of it. Scrap through the middle. Damage out for the kill. Wins it with the Renetti. Flying forward again. And that should be a clean sheet. Kleenex, though, the last man. He's on the prowl for the kills. And I don't think that's going to be it. Optic somehow hold. I mean, look, they hold, but keep in mind in that moment for Ultra, it is four players working out of Palace, both Shotzi and Kenny on five sprees. Neither can do that little bit of extra work and get the job done. Ultra, all the little things have been going right for them on this map. They got 3 0 on Invasion last go around, but they have improved on land. Still down around though, Optic, make no mistake, the number one team on the attack can still get it done at any moment. If you're Optic, especially so, you want to burn the cruise missile from Kleenex as soon as you can. And his three players looking towards A. It's an aggressive A hit. Defensively though, very sound scrap. It's a hail of gunfire to prevent Shotzi from getting into the zone. You're fortified now, you're set up. Red on the flank might be able to make something happen here, but Ultra have got a very strong defense here. Oh, an unfortunate hit there from Envoy. Insight falls as well. This might be the A zone in a lot of trouble. Scrap, how many can you take down? The answer is only one. Ah, the spawners he... are close. Envoy just spawned literally right on top of him. He'll take the freebie, but right now, Optic, this might be just a tick through. The trophies, though, not there, and Dashi forced it back down. It is a hail of gunfire stuns in nades landing on that zone. Fred going to be furious when he watches that back. A bunch of players spawning directly oh. on top of him, but maybe that's just going to light his fire. Extra couple kills and Optic stopping the clock over towards the B zone, but make no mistake, the play still over towards A. Fred and Kenny, well, they're doing what they can, but Ultra finessing Ooh. on defense, keeping that pressure up. Oh, Kenny, though, the opening. He's brought the pressure back this direction, and he's challenged. Challenge. Challenge winning insights up next. He comes out of spawn with a stun and an aid. Is it enough to keep him out of the point? Here comes the fight. Fully stunned. Passes the information over. Two man hit cleans it up over to B. And funnily enough, you actually don't have too much progress over on the B zone. So Optic maybe biting off a little bit more they can chew. A near round winning play there from Kenny in theory, but you are oh. now just back to square one. The B zone you are first to work with, and uh -oh. now Shotzi feeling the pressure as uh -oh. well. There's only 30 seconds left on the game clock. Shotzi needs to stay alive. His teammates in the middle of the map are dying. 
but no concern about the flank. He's about to get it done. Could have been a time for the cruise, but that zone has been captured. One minute and 30 seconds. 17 lives for Optic Texas, 16 to Toronto Ultra. And you still, you just want to burn this from Kleenex as soon as you possibly can. String something together, but the middle of the map not going to be open. Kenny going to fall as well. Shotzi's made it to the back line, but he's by himself. He's looking for one of those finesse plays. He's still alive, though. That's a big deal. Scrap two piece and over towards the old zone. Fantastic. Locking down that area of the map. Envoy now on the search and destroy mission to find Shotzi, and he's on the prowl. And it's not just Envoy. Envoy's calling out the help for Scrap as well. He's gotten in position, but Shotzi has at least dragged these players so deep in the oh. spawn, and he's getting the kill. He has opened the door. The door's wide open. Scrap, the last hope for defense here because there's only two segments remaining and enough Optic players to get the cap. Kenny once again batters his way forward. Here come Ultra. Kenny, Kenny! One more on the point. Can Kenneth Williams do the unsinkable? No. Insight holds it together. 34 seconds to go. The fight's still going. Shotzi gets in. Kleenex, can you get him out of the zone now? I mean, he's tagged up on the cross. Oh! He's tagged up on the cross, but he's going to win it. This is a 6v6. 30 seconds on the clock. This could be a TDM round. Cruise missile still in play. Slow things right down. Envoy battling through mid. Huge damage. Not enough to bring Kenny down. Time dwindling. Optic are on the other side of the map. Not enough time to make the play. Pred has got to fly. I mean, this has just been an absolute spectacle. 4v3, but the hold is just going to be there. Time too big of a factor. And from Optic, so close oh, and oh, yet oh. so far away. Kenny is making monstrous plays on the map right now. Leaning back in his seat because he's just thinking, what is it going to take to get an offense against <laughs> Ultra? Bah. Well, they're going to have to find out in a round five. If there was any team that could get it done on the attack, Optic is at the top of the list. But right now, Scrap is just having <laughs> a clinical performance. 36 kills. He might break the, the single map record and he might do it in control. And keep in mind this long-term problem, Kleenex still, that cruise missile in hand. The Chatsy, he's creating that space. Well, Kleenex is gonna get the trade and now the action over uh -oh. to the B zone. Oh. Progress and that is a four-man wipe in the feed. Here we go. Scrap steps up to the plate. Here comes the pitch. And it's no good. Whoa, wait a minute, he manages to peel Kenny. Minutes of play. Optic Texas still tracks. Here comes the ordinance now. They're out in the middle of the map. This might be more than one. Splash one, Dashy. Dashy gonna eat it, and the only players able to advance on the map. Well, Shotzi has joined Pred, but you gotta make your way towards either zone. Cheeky spot from Kleenex, and B is gonna be that oh. much more difficult to clean up kills a rain and Optic. You gotta make a decision. Dashy is leaning towards A, but Scrap is shutting that door. You're forced to go to this B zone, but Kenny doesn't have any help. The reinforcements are no longer there. Optic, they are forced to flood. You gotta sprint to this B zone, and it is looking hopeless. Final 20 seconds now. Scrap holding it together. 41 kills, 42 kills. As he's absolutely mauling. Optic on the approach. Shotzi, pin, Dashi taken care of as well. A five spree as the final moments tick down. This man is breaking records in control. Scrap digging deep for this one in Ultra. They simply found a way. Wow. What is without question the closest invasion control we have seen this year, but the brutality of this map, well, it gets shown to its most extreme form there. Ultra, they are going to see a map for. That was some performance. The individual prowess from Scrat alone, 44 and 26. Seven and a half thousand damage. Have a look at the stat screen in a minute. Don't just take my word for it. Wow, the kill record was tied at 44. And again, he's tying these hard point records too for control. That is an absolutely clinical performance. That is scrap snapping, saying, fine, I'll do it myself. I will step up to the plate. 
And just again, the round number one, the way it started, Optic had the perfect opening break. They got a perfect. clean four down. You trapped them in Palace. They got the next wave as well. They had a Toronto in a situation where there was, what, 18 seconds left in that round. Not a single tick had come through. And not only Toronto still capped the B zone, they also somehow get two ticks on A. And that was a round where Big Bruce was able to get 12 kills in round number one, and yet it was still an advantage for Toronto. The difference maker on that map, but the absolute scenes. Green Wall, they are going to be furious. Oh, man. Well, again, another great, great matchup. Highlights now, folks. Looking across this one, this highlight reel could go on for 30 minutes in itself. A brilliant, brilliant showing. Ultra finally able to crack the code and bring down Optic Texas, a team that we thought would be absolutely outstanding in the mode. They've proved us the stats. Yeah, and very, very important, but that performance today, something special. I mean, this is ridiculous. Like, the plays that Kenny was making on the A zone, Shotzi finding the openings, he was just an absolute god in this section of the map, but that is simply just the way Invasion plays. And honestly, this might just be an example of how good Optic is on these attacking rounds that are literally takes a meteoric performance there <laughs> out of scrap just to sort of cling on and win some of these rounds. Absolutely electric stuff as far as invasion controls go. That is a, as exciting as it's really going to get. And again, make no mistake, there has been some incredible Call of Duty play today. We have seen two game fives in the first two series that we have had. And well, Optic might not want to see that game five. Not that they're scared if they get there, but at least the map four on the horizon. It's, I know. It's possible, man. We could get another game five. And I was going to say, I know Karachi, that was the map pick there from Optic. That's the one they wanted in the map one, which means Toronto undefeated on Skid Row. Happy to see this map four. But also, these are two titans right now of the CDL going to be going at it. It might be a perfect record for Ultron Skid Row, but it is still one of Optic's very best. So I wouldn't make any bets on this series. Gambling is a dangerous game. Indeed, you are. A very, very interesting matchup ahead of us now. So Skid Row Chance, talk to me about what makes Toronto Ultra so, so important and so brilliant on the map. Well, if you have a guy like Scrap that can break records when you need him to, that's going to be incredibly helpful. Insight, maybe the most structured player that we have in the CDL. On a map like Skid Row, there are obvious key rotations, especially towards P2, where you got to get them up in that tower in the prime position. It is just weapons. Everyone on that main stage right now are the playmakers, the heavy hitters, the slayers when you need them to be. And it is just a map that really has everything to offer. Cruise missile potential. I forgot about the cruise missiles. Optic had like three different players on a five spree at different points in time. Kenny, if he didn't run out of bullets, who knows what he could have made happen, but good news in. He spawned into Skid Row with some extra mags. Not actually, but <laughs> get the ammo back. Oh yeah, you do. Well, here we go, map number four. This saga continues. Toronto Ultra have bought themselves a lifeline. Now, is it a lifeline chance, or is it the start of a furnace warming up? 5-0 and this season already. 6-2 and for Optic as well, so they're both Titans. And again, because it is Toronto's map pick, that means Optic start on the good side, and it's still a very strong map for Optic Texas as well. So they'll get the early advantage, which they want to take full advantage of Toronto. They're going to be clinging. They're going to be fighting just for this P1 time. No early rotations for either one of these teams. So Scrap, he's going to be chasing Ghost. The play absolutely towards the time. Couple trades coming through. It's a pinch on the hill. Kleenex and Scrap, they execute. That is a clean four down in P1 time secured. Maybe more importantly, Envoy, he's got out. Oh. Gets caught by Dashi though, so no early rotation. But the kill feed being lit up purple. This is about as good as you could ask for from Ultra. Nice little stranglehold on this hill. They're gonna have a man advantage that Optic might not even want to fight for. Final 20 seconds, and you can see they're just sprinting the map, playing heavy for this rotation. Yeah, this is what we see on Skid Row. We'll say this all year long until maybe something changes, but for now, that lead Ultra have is going to vanish quickly. Well, something has changed, but that'll be a little bit later after this stage is complete. Pred crawling on his belly, him and Ken. Efficient work together. That is a beautiful pin oh. up there from Ultra, but now Optic looking to respond with a full six of their own. 
Kenny in the back line, Dashy. Well, the Hill Super Soaker up top, winning gunfights from up top as well. Ultra, no open avenues of attack. Dashy from in time out there being destructive. Insight was 4 0, but he gets shut down as well. Maybe the one key gunfight, Envoy. He's found the route through. Dashy, though, makes the read. He's got a little bit of help as well. Oh. Right now, clinical. One more gunfight to win. One more to win, and it's Dashy. And oh, it's getting awkward. But he's ready for it. Beautiful work. A six there. Dashy has a cruise missile to play with. No oh, Scraps actually made it through as well. That's a big goal. Ooh, 20. Instead of a full 60, big moment for Scrap. Brett actually knows the importance of it, wants to get it in no trophies. So Ken gets the kill, Pred gets the time. I think Ultra will take the break as they're ahead of the rotation as well. Freddy corner though from Shotzi and well, they'll have the advantage. Those apartment spawns will roll through. They time it perfectly as they make their reverse move. In the back alley, absolutely shoulder to shoulder with players right now. Dashi and Pred find their respectives. And over towards the new hard point we go. Ultra the first players in. Let's check the break now from Optic Texas. Yeah, he's got the pinch on the hill. Dashi waiting for Pred to come and help him out as Kenny's setting up the pinch. You want the timing to be perfect. And well, they're timing it out well. The moves are being made. The front's cleared out. Dashi knows one direction to look. It's both these players stuck on the steps with Pred waiting to chow. They're going to get to heal up and they take him down as well. Whoa. Ultra, that is a perfect hold. They get the spawns and they might get that rotation as well. The classic high low with no hope of any team fire. Dashi though on the pinch, slides in, unable to take down Scrap as well. Nice lead developing here from Toronto Ultra. They're pushing things forward. They're catching Optic unaware. Can Kleenex get another one? No, Pred brings him down. New hard point up, but there's tons of Toronto players on it. Pred just doesn't have that help, and now Optic are going to be flooding through the tunnel. Envoy from up top, and his teammate can throw shoulders from inside the hill. And right now from Envoy, oh my a masterclass on the God Steps. Whoa. He's making them his own. The rotation is clean. Optic fighting now off the back foot. A 50-point <laughs> lead from Ultra. They're at their very best. Yeah, it's the teamwork there as well. Shots, he thought he had him dead to rights. No problem. Outside of the hard point, though, an unsafe place to be if you are wearing purple. Inside. Whoa, a snap. Jamie Craven gets himself his sixth. That's a cruise missile, and Scrap keeps the play alive. And that cruise missile right there from Insight means that they have an opportunity to break this P5 hill. So Optic are going to be chalking up this time, or maybe fighting for an air if they can get it. Dashie's trying to push the pace and make a move towards old. And it's just Scrap defending it as well. And even Shotzi wants to fight for it. But because Optic are fighting, now they're going to be spawning out. The contest is happening Ooh. on the old time. But now that means Ultra might just be able to win this rotation towards new. Pushing the pace as well for Kleenex. Finds Whoa. the timing, finds the win. He's made it to the back line. Finally gets shut down. But this is where the crews can come into play. Wait for it. Toronto Ultra. Right now, they've got Optic Texas on a nice long leash. Or is it a tight noose? We'll find out in a moment as Optic Texas wriggling out of this control. The setup is now on them. They have absolutely silenced Shotzi in the game so far at 4-14. Four and 14, And this is going to help as well. Well, nobody from Ultra really nearby to make this break. Red's going to be the sacrifice, and he actually manages to get two. Shotzi peeks out of the crate and just opens up the lane. Someone now from Optic has to make the big play. Dashi and Kenny looking over each other, trying to collect these final 25, but the timing and the nades and everything on point from Ultra. They found their way through. Oh, the lineup, unfortunately, a lot of damage dealt. Pred's still hurt. Has the time. He and Kleenex now will go for round two. Pred takes care of business. Scrap, though, in the feed. All things considered, if you're Optic Texas, you will absolutely take that. It's not a full 60, but that is still a good chunk of time. Shotzi, 4 and 16. The man that is struggling, looking to get that hot hand. Here comes the push. New hard points up. Back over to P1 we go. Optic trailing by quite a bit. Perfect time for us to dive in for a listen in with Optic Texas. Go split, go split. We're to fight for five. That guy's spawning doubles. I hear you. Jeffrey. He's a little bit of 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 a
Yo, I'm, I'm, shooting, I'm shooting, I'm shooting, I'm shooting. Go ahead, brother. Mm. Yo, there's one tunnel. Okay, two spawn on tunnel and then two on you. Two spawn on tunnel, two on you. Right side, right side, right side. We can stop. Get out of behind me, get out of behind me. Let's get out behind me. Tunnel, tunnel, tunnel. Low, 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 low. Get out of one shot. Clean it. Nice, guys. Tunnel, tunnel, tunnel. 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 Tunnel, tunnel, I'm holding garage. Okay. I ever take it. I ever take it. You're I'll tunnel it. Tunnel it. Tunnel it. Yeah. Watch out. Absolute garage. Absolute garage. Kleenex. Oh, tunnel me too. Tunnel. Tunnel. Let's get this time. Right now. Right. Keep tunnel. 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 Shotzi was four in 16. Now he's on a seven spree and just made the best play we have ever seen on Skid Row. The dance he just did, he turns into a ghost and now Ultra are down in this game. A 20 point gap and the cruise from the killer. Well, it doesn't connect, but you get those back spawns. Now it becomes a straight up fight. Straight on to the point we go, no trophy. Oh, the timing immaculate and we go. Dashi, can you get him this time? Ultra still hold it. Ultra still hold it. The pinch now. Either ends of the alleyway. Kenny flies through. Shots, he's there. And this time, Kenny gets the break. That setup there from Ultra is so dangerous, but Kenny on the pinch, able to open things up. And there you go for Optic. Might be able to collect this time. And when there's rotation, the tides of the game have turned. And Optic now ahead of the game. Kleenex, though, trying to be the guy to keep the pressure on. 20 seconds in old. Ultra don't want to give this scrap time away, but they might not have a Dashi. choice in the matter. What a kill from Dashi. 21 and 14, Big Bruce frying over 200. Barber shops up. Preds handing out haircuts. And he's in between a couple different players now for Toronto. The stun is on point. Well, so is Ultras, but Kleenex got to finish the kill. He can't get it done, and Pred trying to win this rotation. Oh! Fighting into death. Optic are tearing it up on Skid Row. The comeback is in. The kills are flowing. The barbershop is cleaned. It's a regular Sweetie Todd. He has made mincemeat of Toronto Ultra. This is the final hard point here for Optic Texas if they can hold on. Bang, scrap, and inside, bang through the back door. From the tunnel is Shotzi. An endless gunfight as he's been pushed back and Ultra get the break. And if you're Optic, honestly, you could still fight for uh -oh. this if you want it. Kenny being a nuisance, Whoa. but the kills aren't flowing. Chalk it up and go for the rotation. Pred the cutoff man towards the tunnel, Woo. and he's able to deliver you two. Ultra, it is going to be 18 seconds for Optic to win this on the P5. They get the setup as well. Dashi by the crates. Kenny in the time, and Shotzi, the man, you are not going to have a fun time trying to get past. Here we go. One break to decide the game. Dashi suppressed. Pred now pushes forward to that front line, but Ultra now through the back. Kenny, Kenny gets two. There's another one here for it. Kleenex finds another. Wait, the cut. They're through. Insight's dealt the damage, but the time's still ticking. Cruz might be too slow. You have to get on the point. Hit the gas. Hit the go button. Is it enough? No! Game! Optic Texas win it. It was too little too late. And I'll be honest, I have no idea how Shotzi continues to do it. Nope. Play after play, that moment on Skid Row, one of the most absurd things I have seen this year. He was 4 in 16, finishes <laughs> 19 in 22. Two separate cruise missiles they had to deal with from Insight. But Optic simply got it done. But that is obviously credit across the board. Fred making meteoric plays on Barbershop. The ever-present force on the map from Dashi as well as is tradition. Most hill time in the lobby and the kills on point as well. Optic Texas. That is an insanity of a series they just provided for that 3-1 victory. The playmaking and pop-off potential, it is literally non-stop. 3-1, the final score. As Dashi leads the squad, the king of the hill, they will now play Atlanta phase in the winner's bracket final.
And I'm going to keep gushing over that play from Shotzi. I hope we get to watch that many more times as this weekend continues, because that was a thing of beauty by himself around P2 Ultra. They checked every nook and cranny, but they couldn't find his hiding spot. Shotzi is the king of finesse. His left stick out of control. And nobody does it better. There we go, the stats from that iconic skid row. 250, 200, the final score. An absolute banger of a series. Optic Texas walk away with a dub there. I cannot believe.